Hey, what's up folks, how's it going? This is Waj, and this is a video that I've been wanting to do for a very long time, and now I can finally do it. I'm talking about the 3DR Solo with the Solo Gimbal, GoPro Hero 4 Black, versus the Phantom 3 Professional with that built-in camera. If any guys are interested in getting a flying camera platform, these two drones are probably the best bet out there. They're two of my favorite in the market right now, and they offer a lot of different capabilities, but let's find out which one is best and which one is right for you, so let's get right into it. Now physically, the fundamental designs between the 3DR Solo and the Phantom 3 are fairly similar. They're both a quadcopter configuration, as you can see. Dimensionally, the Phantom 3 is a little bit more compact, measuring about 290 millimeters by 290 millimeters, versus the Solo measures 330 millimeters by 330 millimeters, and it's about 10 millimeters taller than the Phantom 3 as well. Both have the gimbal assembly and cameras pointing directly forward, and there's no articulation for a left-right camera movement. You're basically always shooting from the front on both. Both drones. Now the landing gear on the Phantom 3 is certainly different from the Solo. The Solo's feet are a little bit more spread apart, thereby reducing the likelihood of it tipping over during landing and takeoff, but I still prefer the landing gear on the Phantom 3 because you have the ability to catch the drone in the air and turn off the motors manually versus the 3DR Solo pretty much always has to land on solid ground and you can't catch it in mid-air to stop it. Now one thing I noticed straight off the bat is how heavy the 3DR Solo is relative to the Phantom 3. The Phantom 3 weighs in at 1.28 kilograms and the 3dr solo with the gimbal and hero 4 camera it weighs about 1.8 kilograms that's quite a bit heavier and in the air weight is really uh something that's going to determine the maneuverability and also the battery life so uh, that's one thing that the phantom 3 has going for it it is certainly the lighter drone and speaking of the battery the battery on the phantom 3 uh, measures about 15.2 volts and it has a capacity of 44 80 milliamp hours and uh, the 3dr solo has a 5200 milliamp hour battery and uh, that's rated at 14.8 volts and in terms of charge time both are pretty fast but the phantom 3 does get you a charge a little bit quicker than the 3dr solo and in terms of real world battery performance itself i found that the phantom 3 was really quite fantastic because it's so lightweight and has a really large uh, capacity of battery i got a battery life range of about uh, anywhere between 19 minutes to about 24 minutes depending upon how aggressive you are with the drone and what you're doing versus the solo with the gimbal and gopro hero 4 black range anywhere between 17 to 20 minutes in terms of its average flight time. Now in terms of flight dynamics and performance, one of the things that the Phantom 3 has over the 3DR Solo is an optical flow sensor and also an ultrasound sensor and that's basically going to give you a little bit more precision in terms of its hover deviation both in terms of the horizontal and vertical plane so it's a little bit more rock steady in terms of its hover capabilities versus the 3DR Solo mainly relies on its GPS to keep itself in one specific location and even though the hover deviations aren't too bad, it's certainly not as steady in the Phantom 3 in a lower altitude positions and in indoor environments where you may not have access to the GPS satellites. Now, both drones are very responsive. There's very little input lag between the controller and the drones themselves, so they're very easy to fly in that case. And in terms of the flight performance, the 3DR Solo is faster than the Phantom 3. It has a maximum velocity limit of about 89 kilometers, which is absolutely insane. The Phantom 3 is pretty fast at 57.6 kilometers kilometers and in terms of the maximum ascent speed the solo can go up to 10 meters per second so it can really climb up there fast compared to five meters per second on the phantom 3. Now let's talk about the communication range we have between these two systems. Now the phantom 3 really excels in this department it can go up to two kilometers so you can be quite far away from the drone while it's flying up in the air and even more impressively since it uses light bridge technology you actually get a 720p HD signal at 30 fps even if you're 2000 meters away from the drone itself which is super super darn impressive this is where really DJI's uh, experience is shining over here now one of the biggest limitations of the 3DR Solo is certainly its communication range it's less than half of what the Phantom 3 can do at about 800 meters now you do get a 720p HD feed coming straight from your GoPro camera but I did notice as the distance between the drone and the controller increases the quality of your HD feed does uh, tend to go down a little bit and you get a little bit more of a lag as a result of that distance as well. Now perhaps later down the road with uh, hardware extenders or even uh, software updates the uh, performance of the communication will be better on the 3DR Solo but at this point the Phantom 3 is certainly the better option when it comes to the range. 
Now in terms of some of the safety features, both drones have the return to home function. If for whatever reason you lose contact with your drone, it'll start returning to its landing position, or you can actually press the return to home button if you want to bring it back. One of the cool things about the 3DR Solo, it actually has that emergency brake system, so you can press the little brake button on the controller, and it'll stop the drone right in the mid-air and hopefully avoiding any kind of accident. Now in addition to that, one of the things that separates these two drones is the, the Smart Shots features on the 3DR Solo, and this basically both the option to do some uh, pretty impressive maneuvers with the touch of a button so you can do things like uh, orbiting around an object you can do a selfie where the drone comes in and out of your uh, localized position you can also use the drone as a giant air slider by using the cable cam smart shot and interestingly enough both the solo and the phantom 3 professional have the ability to follow you around wherever you go so that's kind of a handy feature if you want your drone to do that now let's move on and talk about the controllers that comes in both of these two packages both controllers are really comfortable, very easy to use. They both have dual analog thumbsticks. So if you're used to playing any kind of flight simulator game, it's actually much easier than that in real life. And they do an excellent job in terms of controlling all the different maneuvers you're going to be doing when flying both machines. And both have the option to control the angle of your gimbal itself so you can get that perfect shot. And uh, they're both really smooth in terms of their operation, very easy to use. One thing I like about the uh, Phantom 3 controllers is that you actually use a wire to connect your smartphone to the controller itself so you don't have to mess around with Wi-Fi versus the 3DR Solo controller does require you connect to its Wi-Fi network in order to get the video feed from your GoPro camera. Now the cool thing about the 3DR Solo as you can see there's actually a small LCD display that'll display relevant information about your flight status and performance as well as information on the angle of your gimbal and a whole bunch of other things. Some other properties of the 3DR Solo controller is that it has a haptic feedback system so it'll uh, vibrate every once in a while if it wants to get your attention or if you press certain buttons. You also have a HDMI out so you can actually broadcast live HD footage from your drone which is pretty awesome. Unfortunately we don't have an HDMI port on the Phantom 3 controller so you can't do any kind of live broadcasting or output your drone feed on a larger external monitor. Now in terms of the device compatibility both systems operate on both iOS and Android devices which is excellent and in terms of the controls of the actual drone itself you have plenty of properties to change the dynamics of your controls and and a whole bunch of other things through their apps respectively. Now in terms of the camera controls and capabilities, one of the biggest downsides of the 3DR Solo is although you get an HD feed uh, that gives you the ability to stop and start your GoPro recording, you cannot change the controls of the actual video quality settings themselves. You're going to have to do that on the GoPro app itself or directly in the camera. Versus since the Phantom 3 is an all-encompassing package with a built-in camera, you can change every single option as you can imagine. So as a integrated holistic system, the Phantom 3 is much more easier to use. You can change all the dynamics of the camera settings, the resolution, the frame rate, everything you can imagine through the app, and it's a uh, little bit better of an integrated solution. From a functional standpoint, both serve their purpose, but it's certainly a little bit more tricky to get all the fine tuning done on the solo side because you are using a third party camera versus the Phantom 3 is a much more unified system that has everything integrated very well. Now the final thing that we're going to talk about is actually the footage that comes out of both these two devices. In terms of specification basically you're looking at the GoPro Hero 4 Black versus the built-in camera that you get on the Phantom 3 Professional. Now in terms of pure specifications and capabilities obviously the GoPro Hero 4 is going to have more options in terms of the recording capabilities as well as the frame rate. It's a much more powerful camera in that sense but as a standalone dedicated camera the uh, camera that's in the Phantom 3 Professional is pretty fantastic. It has a full native resolution of 4096 by 2160. You can also record at a couple of different other resolutions including 3840 by 2160 at up to 30 FPS. You can also record full HD 720p and you can also shoot uh, stills in RAW at 12 megapixels. Additionally, both cameras have the option to shoot at a flat picture profile setting so you can do some color correction later on in post if you want more control of your image. Now in terms of the lens, uh, one thing that you're going to notice is the Phantom 3 Professional actually has has a much more narrow point of view, a 94 degrees of uh, viewing angles, about 20 millimeter lens at f2.8 versus the GoPro has a couple of different options for different viewing angles. But if you set it at 4K resolutions at 30 FPS, you're basically limited to the wide perspective, which is 170 degrees field of view. And as you can see, it's great for getting a large perspective on the world, but it's also going to present some barrel distortion and uh, that fish eye effect that some people do not like versus 
versus the Phantom 3 has little to no barrel distortion as a result of that more telephoto perspective. Now in the Hero 4 Black, you can change the viewing angles, but you have to shoot at a lower resolution than 4K, so you can get uh, a look without barrel distortion on the Hero 4, but sadly, you can't capture it in 4K. Now I'll just give you guys a quick sample of the 4K footage coming out of both of these two cameras. Uh, keep in mind that I didn't have both drones at the same time, so some of the footage is inconsistent, but it'll hopefully give you a good idea of how both uh, cameras kind of look when they're up in the air. But really on that guys, that's really it. Definitely let me know what you guys think of the two drones. Which one would you pick specifically? Definitely love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And also give us a thumbs up if you like this video. If you're interested in a full review of both of these two drones, we have that up on the channel and you can check all that information in the description down below along with the detailed pricing and specifications of everything we talked about. But thank you Leanne for watching. We'll see you later. Take care.